Last week, German police targeted 54 locations across seven states in a probe into Hamburg's Islamic Center, a site long monitored by the German intelligence. This action reportedly is part of a broader scrutiny of five groups linked to the Iran regime's espionage network, including the Islamic Center of Hamburg. Reports from Germany's Office for the Protection of the Constitution frequently identify the National Council of Resistance of Iran, NCRI, and the Mujahideen Khalq Organization, the MEK, as primary targets of Tehran's spy operations. Despite decades of surveillance, German intelligence has yet to take decisive action against these networks. This center, which has been very active in threatening and spying on the regime's opponents, is directly funded and directed by Tehran and the office of the Supreme Leader, Ali Khamenei. The regime's embassies and all its religious and cultural centers have no mission other than espionage and terrorist activities. So why weren't these centers shut down long ago? It's the appeasement policy of the West, not intelligence shortcomings. Tehran's potential for international terrorism has been exacerbated by Western concessions, allowing the expansion of its network unchecked. The head of the snake of Islamic fundamentalism, war and terrorism lies in Tehran and must be removed. And it must be removed by the Iranian people and its organized resistance movement, namely the NCRI and the MEK. Meanwhile, Western capitals need to abandon appeasement swiftly. They need to reinstate UN Security Council resolutions and dismantle Tehran's terror network, hubs, and sleeper cells. To truly make the world a safer place involves these decisive actions by the West as the Iranian people are fighting to change the regime.